Hello children, how are you all? I hope you all are keeping fine at home. Today, I am going to do a maths lesson for grade 3. Directions Can you see the girl in the picture? She is facing towards us. I have marked with arrows her right hand and her left hand. Can you see the girl in the picture? She has a flower in her right hand. Next, you can see a picture of a carpenter. He has got a hammer in his left hand. Now you can see I have used left and right words to tell directions. Look at the boy in the picture. Can you tell what he has got in his right hand and what he has got in his left hand? He has got a sandwich in his right hand and a bag in his left hand. Look at the man showing below. Can you complete the following sentence? The man has got a paint bucket in his blank hand and a paint brush in his blank hand. Look at the picture again. The man has got a paint bucket in his right hand and a paint brush in his left hand. Look at the following pictures. You can see a boy, a tree and a dog in this picture. The boy stands in the middle and you can see the dog sits on the left side of the boy. And there is a tree stands on the right side of the boy. Now children, can you see the boy in the picture? He is turning backwards us. I have marked with arrows his left hand and his right hand. Can you see the following pictures? There is a cat, there is a girl and there is a house in this picture. You can see the girl is standing in the middle and she is turning backwards us. You can see a house on the right side of the girl and you can see the cat stands on the left side of the girl. Now we are going to do some exercises using the knowledge of directions. Exercise 1. Draw a boy turning towards you. Draw an apple in his left hand and draw a flag in his right hand. Exercise 2. Draw a boy turning towards you. Draw a tree on his right hand side and draw a dog on his left hand side. Exercise 3. Draw a boy turning backwards you. Draw a chair on his left hand side and an umbrella on his right hand side. Children, now you can see the answers on the screen. Now you can check your answers with the teacher's answers. Now I'm going to do a funny activity with you. Sing this song and do the actions. Jump to the left, jump to the right, jump forward and jump back. Jump to the left, jump to the right, jump forward and jump back. Turn around and touch the ground. Turn to the left and turn to the right. Turn around and touch the ground. Turn to the left and turn to the right. Now we are going to use the knowledge of left and right for our further exercises. Look at the given map. You can see a picture of a temple, picture of a post office and a picture of a library. I have marked 
The starting point is junction A. Then you can see some junctions in this map. I have marked them as junction A, junction B, junction C, junction D, junction E, junction F and junction G. Okay children, now can you answer the following questions using the given map? You can see the map on the right side of this video. Question number one. You are standing at A. Can you tell directions to go to the post office? Okay, I will help you to go to the post office. First, Start from A, then go straight to the junction D. From junction D, turn to your left and walk straight to the junction E. Turn to your right from junction E and walk straight. Then you can find the post office. Now can you answer? For the question number two and three. Question number two. How you go to the temple from junction A? Question number three. Can you tell directions to go to the library from junction A? Okay, children. Now let's check the answers. You can compare your answers with the teacher's answer. Look at the question number 2. How do you go to the temple starting from A? Answers. First you have to start from A. Then go straight to the junction B. Turn to your right and walk straight to the junction C. Turn to your right from junction C and walk straight. Then you can find the temple. Question number 3. How do you go to the library from A? Answers. First, starting from A, then go straight to the junction D. Turn to your right from junction D and walk straight to the junction F. Turn to your left from F junction and walk straight to the junction G. Then turn to your right from junction G and walk straight until you meet the library. Okay children, I think now you have a clear idea of left side and the right side. I hope you will go through this video again and again and will complete the given exercises. Let's meet in another interesting lesson. Thank you.